Nestling between the slopes of the Molaison and the Don du Chamois rises the medieval town of Gruyère. On this June morning, engulfed in mist, Molaison looks like a scene from a painting. It's only the bells of the cows which stroll around the meadows that break the spell. This story begins with those cows and their milk, and our hero is Gruyère, which has travelled and conquered the world. Gruyère is an essential part of Swiss cheese fondues. This ordinary-looking chalet is hiding something extraordinary. Inside, Alpine farmers are going to show us the traditional medieval method of producing cheese. First thing in the morning, the farmer pumps the fresh milk towards the copper vat on the first floor. This is the only mechanised stage of production. Everything else is done by hand. Cheesemaker Mark Savary has already lit the fire to start the day's work. He explains how to make cheese. So the first step, that's the milk arriving. Then you have to curdle it. To produce Gruyere, the temperature of the milk has to be kept at 32 or 33 degrees. We then add rennet. Rennet comes from the stomach of calves, and its job is to curdle the milk. When the milk starts thickening like yogurt, it's cut up into pea-sized granules and stirred, releasing whey. Finally, the whey is strained, and after placing the curds in molds to be pressed, you get the rounds of cheese. After salting in brine, the cheese, which has been pressed for 20 hours, is ripened in a cellar for five to six months. It can then be eaten. But if you want to save a mature Gruyere, which is a particularly aromatic flavour, you're going to have to wait for up to two years. In addition to these small dairies, the town of Gruyere also boasts a modern dairy. Here is one of the biggest ripening caves. Automated machines are used. Producing Gruyere can take different forms. In the factory, the robots rapidly turn and massage the rounds of cheese. This keeps them healthy. Every day, the cheese makers deal with more than 600 wheels, weighing from 10 to 40 kilograms. Strong arms are a job requirement. The mechanized production is practically identical to the traditional method. The only area where machines haven't replaced humans is checking the density of the fermented cheese. A certain density is necessary to produce the wheels. The granules are wrung out in what looks like washing machines. They are then pressed into rounds. Each round is given a sticker, indicating the date of birth and the name of the dairy. Inside the factory, each vat can hold 4.8 tonnes of milk. One wheel can weigh around 35 kilos. Months later, the wheels finally end up on shop shelves and in markets, and seduce us with their taste and colour. That is also the end of our story. If you like Gruyere cheese, you'll love Gruyere Town. <laughs>